WNYC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. For most of our Saturday, it has been dry, although one or two of you might have seen a brief shower this evening as that fog is beginning to make its way in. Enough moisture maybe produced a light shower. We got one here at the station around 7 o'clock this evening, but most of us are now drying out and we should stay dry for at least another 12 hours. But into our Sunday, it does look like a couple fronts will be moving into Acadiana, bringing the first round of some shower activity, and it looks like more rain will be in the forecast into the upcoming work week. Take a look at the satellite and radar picture. We can see those clouds that we've been dealing with all day long, although we did have a few peaks of sunshine briefly this afternoon. Most of that is now come to an end. We have the southerly flow that's helping to produce that sea fog and move it onshore, especially down through Vermilion Parish and Cameron. They are really seeing visibilities drop this evening down to around one to two miles, and that will continue to thicken through the rest of this evening, which has led to a dense fog advisory for many of our coastal parishes, and that goes until 9 a.m tomorrow morning. So you can see from St. Mary, Iberia, Vermilion over to Cameron Parish will have that. So keep that in mind tomorrow morning as visibilities will continue the fall and that fog will thicken through the rest of this evening leading to tomorrow morning as visibilities will be dropping quickly, getting down to less than a half mile. I expect that to maybe make its way up to the I-10 corridor. Model might be overdoing it a little bit farther to the north, but you can see just about all of us will have that chance for a heavy fog to develop through the overnight and into tomorrow morning before clearing out tomorrow afternoon. So we have those clouds developing through the overnight. Also by tomorrow morning, the first cold front will be working its way into Acadiana through the late morning and into the early afternoon. That could produce some light scattered activity as the front slowly makes its way from the northwest down to the southeast during most of our Sunday. Not going to be an all day rain event, but just, you know, hit or miss showers could be possible. Then as a secondary front moves through during the evening, another wave of showers will be possible pushing into the evening. So you can see just about the entire day will have the chance for some hit or miss showers, but not going to be a washout. Then behind the second front is when the really breezy and cooler conditions arrive. Temperatures dropping down into the 40s by the time we wake up Monday morning and we stay on the cooler side all throughout our Monday as we have that northerly flow in place. High struggled to get into the lower 60s, but you do see by Monday afternoon into the evening, a stationary front will begin to work back towards the area. So maybe some light shower activity returning late Monday in the Tuesday morning. Better chance for the rain on our Tuesday as the front works its way more onshore. You can see a good chance for widespread scattered showers, maybe even some thunderstorms across northern Acadiana come Tuesday afternoon, while the southern portion might be just dealing with some light scattered activity. The front then works back over top the region into Wednesday. So more showers continue to be with us along with a few thunderstorms. So yeah, just grab that umbrella heading into the upcoming days as it does look like scattered showers will be with us on again, off again each and every day, moving throughout much of the upcoming work week. By Friday, though, temperatures start to moderate a little bit as the front lifts more up to the north. Temperatures getting into the 70s during the afternoon. By Saturday, then, that's when our next strong cold front arrives, bringing another round of showers in into Acadiana. And again, this could interrupt the Rio Parade Saturday evening. You do see shower activity possible for the front clears during the overnight hours, bringing another wave of cooler and breezy conditions by next Sunday with highs dropping into the 50s. So we may not be done with winter just yet as it does look like another round of cooler air by next the following week. So as for how much rainfall we could get with all these rainy days in the head, not going to be overly that impressive. So this is through Wednesday. Most areas picking up one to two inches and with the ground as dry as it is, we should have no problem soaking that up. So flooding will not be a concern as we go farther into the week and by the end of the weekend, you do see rainfall totals throughout the entire seven, eight day period. Now starting to get up around three to four inches with some locally higher amounts from Alexandria to Monroe. That's where I think they might have to contend with the possibility for some flooding concerns. But locally here in Acadiana, we're just going to be dealing with steady on again, off again showers. Most days anywhere from just a quarter to a half inch. So not looking at anything too bad. Temperatures through this evening with that warm front lifting to the north, all of us get into the 60s. So it should be a very mild, comfortable night. Tomorrow temperatures push the mid 70s before that secondary front comes through, dropping temperatures into Monday morning. Low 50s, I-10 on southward, while we could have some 40s waking up across northern portions of Cadiana on Monday. And then a cool day as highs, low 60s, the upper 50s on Monday with lots of clouds around and maybe a stray drizzle. But
For the rest of our evening, we just call it mostly cloudy and mild with that fog down around the coast and a 10% chance that a stray shower could be squeezed out of that. And more clouds tomorrow, but temperatures getting into the 70s. Again, 30-40% chance for some of those showers before we turn cooler late. The cool day on Monday, warm back up Tuesday. Good rain chances Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday will go 60-70% each day. A little less on Friday before the rains return by Saturday, and then you see the temperature drop as winter tries to make a return by the end of next weekend and into the following week. Well, hopefully the rain holds all for the real parade. Yeah, next week. I know a lot of people are watching that closely. We'll have to keep an eye on the timing, but you know, things could change over the next seven days.